If you haven't been to my channel before, hi, my name's Alidi. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I created one of my favorite command sets for my Twitch stream, The Countdown. This is one example of how I use the countdown command. And here is another. So this video is going to be in two parts, the first being how I get my bot to respond with a day countdown, and I use stream elements as my bot so that's what I'll be showing you today, and the second part is how I get the overlay to pop up on my stream and it can be any video you want, and for that I use trigger fire. So I'm in stream elements now and I am just in the chatbot and in the chatbot I'm in custom commands. And let's take a look at my secret Santa command here. So this is my command settings. I just have the command name as secret Santa. You can have it as whatever you want and have the user level open to everyone. So any follower can use it. And this is the response command. This is what's getting us that reply with the countdown days. So let's break down this response. At the start here, I have the sender name and this is the string you need for stream elements to reply with the user's name who put in the command in chat. In my example, you can see it says my name um, and that's because I was the one who put the command in, but whoever put the command in, they will have their name appear here. I like to have this because it just feels like it personalizes the response, like the bot is recognizing who sent the command. So you just need to make sure you put sender here exactly as it appears. So this is the start of my custom text. And if you look at this whole section, this is what I want my response to say. It's only, x we can replace all this with x because this is how we get the date days until christmas so this part can be any message you want can be whatever you're counting down to that can be customized and this is the most important part this is the function that's grabbing the date for your countdown so essentially what we're telling stream elements to do here is go run this api function to return the days until this date that we set if you're curious as to where this api comes from it's from scorp stuff this is the website that i found it took me forever to find a countdown api and i'm so glad that i did end up finding this site when you come to scorpstuff.com it is the first API here. If you want to use it with stream elements, just make sure you're selecting stream elements at the top here because the command line does change a little bit to sit with stream elements formatting. Then it's really just simple. You paste in that command line and then you just update the date here for whatever countdown you're doing. I use the same command for my PAX countdown that I showed you and just change the date to when PAX is. And then that's your command setup. You do have advanced settings if you want like every other custom command user cooldowns, who can use the command. Once you've made that command active in stream elements, you should be able to test this part, put in whatever your command name is, and your bot should reply with the date countdown. And we have Santa back. <laughs> Speaking of the Santa overlay, the next part is how we get an overlay video to come up on your stream whilst that command runs. And to do that, I use Triggerfire. So if you Google Triggerfire, it will bring you to the Triggerfire website and then you can sign in and you'll have to connect your Twitch similar to any other bot. And then once you're logged in, you come to the videos tab and down the bottom here, click the plus sign. And then this is the menu where you'll set up your video. So we're just gonna leave this user level to everyone for now. And then the user cooldown, set them to whatever you want. Then over here, you're going to select the video that you want and upload it. I already have my Santa video in here. And then that's it. In Triggerfire, I always use MP4 videos because it's a file type that it takes. And I always use green screen videos so that I can key out the green screen in OBS, which I will show you in a second. Then we're going to go to Advanced Settings. And this is where we're going to change what users can use it. And we're going to only enter your bot. So Stream Elements. I have a custom bot name that I sometimes use, so I make sure that's in there and then my own account. So now when we come back to the settings tab, this has changed to permit list, which means only those accounts can trigger this overlay. And then we're going to add command keywords. And these are the keywords that Triggerfire is going to look for to come up in chat to set the overlay off. But it can only be set off by these three accounts. So in this section, you need to add a keyword that appears in your bot response. For example, to my Santa command, my command says it's only X amount of days until Christmas and I know that Christmas appears in there. So if one of these accounts say Christmas, the overlay will get triggered. And this is where you need to get a bit creative with your responses. Make sure you're using unique words that don't appear in any other commands. For myself, I know I'm not using the word Christmas in any other command, so that is safe for this one. Now for the final step of the overlay to remove the green screen so only the part of the video that you want appears. This is what I recommend that you do. Add the video straight in as a source. So media source, 
I'm going to call this Santa test and then I'm going to browse for where I have the video saved. Okay, I've dropped in the footage of my dancing Santa over here and what you're going to do is pause the footage and then right click filters and we're going to add a color key. So add that, we we'll select green and then all you have to do is play around with the sliders until the green disappears and only your video is left. So just going to mess around here and see what I can make it. I can make him a bit larger here so we can see him. So now we can see I only have my Santa, no green screen. Now we're going to come in and add our browser source. And this is where we're going to add our trigger fire source in. Back in trigger fire, you can get your source link from clicking this pink link button. This is my link. You can't see the rest of it here, but just click copy link. Throw that into the OBS URL section. Now we can come back to the Santa test in the filters, right click on color key and press copy. Close out of there. We can now hide the, the test video. We don't need that anymore. You can delete it after this. Go to the trigger fire test and click filters and then right click paste. And now we have the same color key applied to that we had from the video on the trigger fire. So now when we play the trigger fire video, the trigger fire video is playing with no green screen. Everywhere. I have set, I have dancing centers everywhere. <laughs> and that's how it's done. You now have a chat command that can count down to any day that you want. You can use this multiple times over. I'm currently counting down to two events. And if you want to, you can also now add an overlay. I hope you enjoyed this video and this tutorial helped you. If it did, let me know in the comments below or give this video a like or subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and hopefully I catch you in the next one. I just went down in the middle of my tutorial. At least, at least they're giving me cute doggo pics, I guess. Fire. That record be making a scene.